Peace Solution Aries, what's going on? Haven't talked to y'all in a little bit. We wanted to touch base on a few things. One, Milwaukee. Um, you know, I get a, lo a lot of messages from people asking me, you know, uh, is, it, is it okay for people to riot and rebel? Is it okay for... And that's kind of like putting the cart before the horse after the fact, so to speak. The question is, is it okay for, you know, law enforcement, corrupt portions of law enforcement or uh, the, the government to ignore a massive amount of people and oppress them and brutalize them? That's not okay. So you can't really talk about the flies and ignore the trash, you know? So I wanna, I wanna make sure that we're putting our energy and our responses in the direction that they need to be. Number one, people are not rebelling for nothing, you know? They're not uh, in conditions in Milwaukee that um, black people aren't, you know, very favorable. You know, there's, there's plenty of articles, if you're on my social media, you know, I tweeted a few times about some of the disparaging and um, distance and gaps between, you know, people of color and other people in Milwaukee. Um, and just the unfair treatment. Now again, I always say we should wait until all of the facts come out in any scenario. However, the people that don't do that are a little bit frustrated, you know, and uh, rebellion is, 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 a, is, a, is a tool or a tactic to make sure that people understand their pain and frustration. Now, to the people that are rebelling, getting weave out of a hair salon store is not an effective tool for social change. Trying to get flat screens and DVDs and Jordans because of a rebellion is counterproductive to what your goal is. Rebellions are designed to let the governing bodies know that you're unhappy with the system and being oppressed and brutalized. Not just so you can get some yakky or some Remy, you know? So we have to hold ourselves accountable as well as we have to hold, you know, the establishment accountable for their improper practices. So I just wanted to address that. Um, a lot of you have been asking me to reach out and talk to Sheriff Clark. I do not know Sheriff Clark, never met him before. And to be perfectly honest, a lot of people in my hood get a bad vibe from him because I don't think he's trying to actually communicate with what the actual solutions are to what I've seen. So it's not about a sheriff, it's about the people. It's about making executive decisions that, that uh, help the people. You're making better choices, you know, and with your dollar. That, police government is handling you improperly there, put your money elsewhere. Move out of that county, move out of that city, move out of that state if need be. So there's a multitude of choices, but um, you know, uh, the people that are rebelling, I understand your frustration. Be safe, be smart. If there's a more productive way to come up with, you know, getting your means heard, by all means, I would, I would you know, uh, advise that you do that. But um, you can't point the finger at one without pointing the finger at the other. So just wanted to touch bases on that. I want y'all to be safe, be smart, be solutionaries. Peace.